Let's take a look how to make this metallic background animation here in After Effects. Let's start with a new composition, rename it as background. I gotta go with 1080p, two seconds, black background, click OK. Now right click here, go to new and select solid, rename it as gradient, click OK. Now we're gonna go to the effects and presets, type in color gradient. Drag and drop the four color gradient on the gradient layer. And up here we can recolor the gradients. I'm gonna go with a cyan, click OK. Second one, I'm gonna make it yellow, click OK. And now we're gonna go and activate the stopwatch at the point one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna bring these points out. So it's gonna bring the colors out as well, like that. I'm gonna go to the first second, and here I'm gonna bring in these points. And I'm gonna make them cross each other, like so. Press the letter U, so this way it's gonna highlight the keyframes. I'm gonna select these first four keyframes, press Ctrl C, let's bring it here, Ctrl V, I'm gonna select all of it, and I'm gonna go and right click on one of these keyframes, go to keyframe assist, select easy ease, and I'm gonna select the last ones and bring it out. So this way, if I hit play, it is going to loop, just like that. Now I'm gonna collapse this, right click, go to new, select adjustment layer, rename it, distort, Let's go to the effects and presets, type in turbulent displace, drag and drop the turbulence displace on the distort layer. And we're gonna go here to the settings, we got amount, you can increase it. Last time I did it with 600-ish, 670. As you can see, it's gonna create these holes, but don't worry about it. And I'm gonna go to the size, you also can adjust that, 160, complexity, 1.5. And then here we got the evolution. I gotta bring this back and activate the evolution. I gotta bring it to the first second and bring down here the evolution. So it's gonna animate like that. Press the letter U to hi highlight the keyframes. I gotta select the first keyframe, press Control C, bring it here, Control V. A right click on the keyframe, easy ease, bring the last keyframe out. It is going to distort it like that. And now we're gonna need to deal with these holes. So I gotta go and type in motion tile, drag and drop the motion tile above the turbulent displace, and we're gonna go to the output width, I gotta go with 800, and then output height, I gotta go with 700, and make sure to check the mirror edges, this box right here is gonna make it disappear, let's see what we got. Let's hit play, and it looks something like this. I also can increase the size if you will, to make it less detailed, so it's gonna look like that. Great, we're gonna create a new adjustment layer. Let's rename it Colorama. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in Colorama, drag and drop the Colorama on the Colorama layer. And we're gonna go to the output cycle. And I'm gonna remove a couple of elements in here, like the red, the green, and I'm gonna bring the yellow here, double click on, I'm gonna make it orange, click OK, bring the purple up. I'm gonna bring the cyan on the left, blue on the bottom, and go to the input phase. And I'm also gonna bring this and readjust the colors. Looks pretty interesting. Now I'm gonna go to the mode, change it to color. And now but least I'm gonna create a new adjustment. Right click, rename noise. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in grain, drag and drop the grain in the noise layer. Go to preview, change to final output, and here you can choose some really nice grain. I gotta go with the fourth. I also spread out the keyframes like this here to make the animation look even more fluid. And this is how I made this liquid chrome background animation here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.